this lesson, we'll talk about how to model database tables in your applications by defining entity objects and how to read and write data using the Entity Manager. An entity class is just a basic class with the entity decorator. You can specify the name of the table that the entity corresponds to as the parameter to the decorator. Here we see that the vehicle entity class is associated with the vehicles table. If you don't specify the table name explicitly, it will default to the name of the entity. Properties of the entity class decorated with column will be mapped to database table columns. One property must be decorated with primary column to serve as the primary key. Each entity instance corresponds to a single row of data. So where do entity instances come from? The Entity Manager can read data from the database and use it to create or update entity objects. It can also use them to perform database writes. So let's take a closer look at the Entity Manager. The Entity Manager defines the basic operations that read and write data into the database. It bridges the gap between the objects in your application and the database in your CockroachDB cluster. You can access the Entity Manager by simply calling Get Manager. It comes with a whole set of methods for CRUD operations – Create, Read, Update, Delete – all of which work with Entity Objects. For example, the findOne method performs the database read. It takes a reference to the Entity class – remember that each Entity class is associated to a table – and a primary key value. Then it queries the associated table for the correct row and returns the result as an Entity object. There are several other methods that perform database read operations. For example, findOne or fail is just like find one, but throws an error when no result has been found. And just find returns a list of all entity objects, possibly satisfying some conditions. You can create a new entity in your app by simply using the create method of the Entity Manager. At this point, though, the entity will not be added to the database yet. For that, you need to use the save method. Save plays a double role. It inserts a new record into the table if the record doesn't exist yet. Otherwise, it updates the existing record instead. Let's review. An entity is an object that corresponds to a row in a database table. The Entity Manager works with those entity objects to interact with the database. The Manager comes with methods that perform several common CRUD operations. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how Mover reads and writes data to your CockroachDB cluster. And now it's your time to practice what you've learned in the labs.